In this video, I'm talking about Bluetooth connectivity with advanced Bionics cochlear implants and their new 3D magnet. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Cochlear implant manufacturer Advanced Bionics has recently made some nice additions to their already impressive cochlear implants and their Naida Q90 processor. The Advanced Bionics T-Mic, which is a microphone that hangs in front of your ear canal, was originally intended to improve microphone placement for use on the telephone, and it worked really well. But there's an even better option out there, and that is to take Bluetooth and stream audio directly from your phone into your processor. Now a T-Mic still works great if you're going to hold the phone up to your ear, but if you don't want to hold the phone up to your ear, you don't have the capability with an Advanced Bionics processor to stream audio directly from your smart device. That is until now because Advanced Bionics now has the CI Connect. It's a very small attachment that you actually put on the bottom of your cochlear implant processor's battery. So this is how it works. You have the processor here and then you actually just slide that onto the bottom and now this cochlear implant processor, the Q90, is now compatible with a smart device. You can stream audio directly from that device into your cochlear implant. Advanced Bionics has developed the CI Connect to connect to any Bluetooth device. So you can stream audiobooks, podcasts, telephone calls, YouTube videos, whatever can actually play audio, you can stream that audio directly into your processor. Now it doesn't matter if it's an Android phone, if it's an iPhone, if it's a brick phone, or if it's a tablet. You can connect the CI Connect to any one of these types of devices as long as it has Bluetooth and you can send whatever the audio is from that device directly into your processor. This is because Advanced Bionics is using Bluetooth Classic. Bluetooth Classic is the type of Bluetooth that you will find inside of most consumer electronics. So basically, the CI Connect is that little attachment that you actually put on the bottom of a 170 battery for the Naida. And so when you're actually wearing your cochlear implant, what you do is when a phone call is coming in, let's say, you click the button on the bottom of the processor and it will answer that phone call for you. So you don't even need your phone on you. I think Bluetooth distance is going to be up to around 30 feet, uh, depending on how many walls it has to go through for you. But you don't need your phone on you to be able to answer the phone and even talk on the phone. And that audio will go right from your phone into your processor so you can hear it. And then the microphones, there's actually two microphones here, and it uses a little bit of directionality to pick up the sound of your voice and send it through to the other end of the line. Now, as awesome as the CI Connect is, you can only use it on one processor at a time. So if you're a bimodal user or or if you are a bilateral cochlear implant user and you actually have one of these on both of your processors, you can still only connect to one ear at a time. The one exception is the TV connector box. The TV connector box will actually let you stream into both of your cochlear implants if you happen to have two of them. You can also connect it to other things other than your TV. So if you wanted to listen to sound from your laptop, for instance, you could use the 3.5 millimeter jack, plug that into your laptop, and you'll be able to stream directly from your laptop into both of your processors as well. The other limitation is there's not really a smartphone app that you can interact with your cochlear implants with. So you can't go in and make remote control adjustments or anything like that from a smartphone app because it basically doesn't exist. All that being said, you gotta be pretty psyched right now if you're a Naida Q90 user because now you have the ability to Bluetooth into your processor. The other thing that Advanced Bionics has rolled out recently is their 3D magnet for their Hi-Res Ultra 3D cochlear implant. This magnet, which you can see here, replaces their old magnet that now allows you to receive a 3.0 Tesla MRI without requiring a splint or the need to surgically remove the magnet from the implant before the MRI. The magnet is composed of four rotatable magnet rods encased in a revolving disc that allows the magnet to provide alignment with the MRI field in all three dimensions, so they literally rotate with the variations of the magnetic field created during an MRI. While it is safe to have up to a 3.0 Tesla MRI done while having this 3D magnet inside of your head, you may still actually have to have the magnet removed if you're having imaging done of your head because that magnet can interfere with the imaging. Now this might seem like a minor improvement to the high res Ultra implant, but it is definitely worthwhile, especially if you're gonna find yourself having an MRI at any point in the future. 
Overall, the CI Connect and the 3D Magnet are nice additions to advanced Bionics offerings that a lot of AB users should be excited about. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.